2016 and newer Jeep Compass rear wheel barrier replacement. The rear wheel, the wheel barrier is located behind the brake holder. Um, during the driver wheel, it will be the same on the passenger side too. So let's start by removing the caliper. It is, um, that's it, 13 millimeter. Let's remove that first. Here it is. So now let's remove uh, the caliper bracket. That's a 70 millimeter. One at the bottom and one on the top. Let's go. Now let's remove um, the brick holder retaining screw. It is a 7 millimeter Allen socket. I'm using a 360 on this one. You work so. Um, yeah, there it is. To remove um, the wheel hub nut right here, it's a 36 millimeter. But before we do that, we need to spread that little thing here. That's something that they put in there so that the book um, the nut doesn't back out while driving. So we need to spread it out using a chisel. So I spread it out with a small chisel. And using a chisel, using a chisel like this, you can move. Um, on the CV axle out of, of the wheel hub with the hammer you put it in the middle here and you hit it with the hammer right here so you can get it loose it's loose right now and let's remove um the four bolts back there that hold the wheel hub in place so here are the four E14 bolts so we need to remove all four of them um, using an extension like this in the E14 socket you can get access to it um a watch it will be fine too so let's get them off here it is got that one off so if you don't have a socket like this the E14 you can use an 11 or 12 millimeter like socket regular socket it would work too but um that's if in case you don't have it but if you have the right tool use it so now let's remove the wheel hub um to, to remove it you can use a hammer like this Tap it so you can take it off. Oh, easy peasy. There you go. It's out. I'll put the link in the comment section below. Okay, so far. You use your ABS sensor here. So we're about to put the new wheel hub in and um, clean up the hub a little bit so you can go and flush. So here it is. Let's put it in. So everything is back in together. Um, so we're about to put um, the axle nut in now. So now we're about to put um, our water back in. So here is a quick backstory. The reason why I'm replacing this wheel bearing, it's not like it's bad. There's nothing really wrong with it. Now for whatever reason, this wheel bearing is bad. I don't know how that happened. One side is higher than the other, causing um, the brake water to rub on um, the brake pads. And that's why you have, mind you, those are new waters by the way. That's why it looks like there's nothing really wrong with it. I'm going to clean it up and um, ship it. Okay. Everything is all done, guys. Um, we're about to get the bar for a test. We're about to go for a test drive. I can, I, the wheel, wheel bearing is moving freely. Um, so good now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.